Touche. Good morning. Uh -huh. Grayson is in his new 3T summer jammies. Yes, he just turned two, but he is already in 3T jammies. He is so dang tall, you guys, that he does not fit in 2T jammies. But when I get him 3T, they like basically fall off his waist because he's so skinny. <laughs> I don't know what to do about this. Um, this room looks kind of crazy. I think I'm going to take this tent. It's a tent of a Volkswagen car that Gray got for Christmas, I think. I think I'm going to put it outside in the backyard today. Along, we have this caterpillar tunnel. I think I will do that too, so we can, like, actually free up this guest room. Um, over here is kind of a mess. This is Grayson's big boy bed. Um, my parents have a ton of twin beds in their basement. And so they brought this so that when we're ready to, he's under the bed, when we're ready to um, transition Gray from the crib to the big boy bed, we have it ready. I feel like I've talked about this before, but obviously when the new baby comes in September, um, Grayson is going to eventually have to get out of the crib because the new baby's going to need a crib. I'm not about to buy two cribs. There's no point. He's two. He's going to be a month shy from two and a half when the baby's born. The baby will sleep in a bassinet in my room, well, Anthony and I's room, for a couple months. So there's just no reason to get another crib. My biggest thing that I'm trying to figure out is when do I transition him to the big boy bed? Do I do it before the baby comes or do I wait until after the baby comes? Um, I don't know. Let me know down below if any of you guys have any experience with that. What worked for you? If you had a new baby coming, when what age worked best? Um, Grayson has now figured out how to climb out of pack and plays. Um, we use them when we go to Toledo and stay at my parents' house and Anthony's parents' house, and he is now tall enough that he can get out of it. So. Basically what we have to do with the pack and play situation is we put him in and then we have to crack the door so that he can see us watching him and you basically have to stand outside the door and wait until he falls asleep. Otherwise he will just keep getting out and thinking it's a game. So that's what we're dealing with right now. And so I'm really not in a rush to transition him out of the crib because that's just gonna happen here. It's not that big of a deal to like stand and watch him, but it's still like, an inconvenience and I'm just wondering like do I want to do it when I'm super pregnant or do I want to do it when the new baby's here and I'm on lack of sleep I don't know <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to figure out but we do have the uh, twin bed here um, I think I told you guys we're gonna keep gray in his room and we're gonna put the new baby we're gonna make a nursery into um, we have this office right here I'll show you guys So we have this office, um, obviously it's where the desk and computer, Anthony's been working in here lately because he worked from home with coronavirus, but it's just like a small little room. Um, so I was gonna just clear all this out. It's got a big closet in here. I just keep like wrapping paper and all sorts of things in there. Um, and so we were gonna move just the crib. I'll show you guys. So when we move, we'll move the crib into the new room and I think we will move the dresser with the um, changing table into that room as well because along with the new twin bed, it came with a dresser, a matching dresser. So Grayson will have, I mean, new to him furniture. It's not new, but honestly, it's cheap. It's free. <laughs> furniture is expensive, so... Um, obviously, we'll need the diaper genie as well. We'll move that. Um, this is a hamper that I've never used yet, but as Grayson gets bigger, I will use it because he can put dirty clothes in there. But for now, um, I've just been taking it and putting it in my hamper in my room. What is that? Oh, a tractor. Wow. What? What is that? Oh, it's wheat. 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 Ah, it's a lamb. Cheep, 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 cheep. So today is Memorial Day, 
and it is hot. It is summer. Yesterday was like 86. Today's 86. Gray and I went swimming in the little baby pool yesterday. We got the water table back out. Like it is hot. We're in shorts. Um, I think for the most part the cold weather is behind us so it's very exciting to just be warm and we can go outside. It's been raining like crazy here the past week so we haven't been able to do much outside but it's finally sunny. We have Grayson's two-year-old picture is scheduled finally for tomorrow. We're going to get those done. We're also going to get a family picture, so I'm very excited about that. Gray is reading his books. What is that? What? What animal is that? He is so sassy, you guys. I don't know what to do with him. Can you give me a hug? Aww. You give baby a hug? He still really doesn't know about the new baby. Gray, where's the baby? What's that? What is that? It's a... It's a... It's a... It's a cross. I really don't know what shape that is, guys. Please help me out. I don't know what it is. It's a cross. I just called it a cross. Gray does this really cute thing. You just heard it. When he comes across something he doesn't know, he says what's that mm -hmm. and then i repeat him and i say what's that and then he says it's a and then he waits for me to tell him what it is yeah and um he just got back into this little shape sorter thing although it goes in a bucket but he just likes to take the top off because sometimes he likes to wear it as a hat hmm. what color is that huh Cross buns. Hot cross buns. Cross buns. One Nike. One what? a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. What's that? What is that? It's a, it's a curse. cross. <laughs> it's a cross. Yeah. It's a cross. It is a cross. It's a cross. And a circle. Oh, a circle. What color is it? He's like, I don't care, Mom. Circle. 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 Yeah. Circle. Circle. Want a hat? You want to wear it as a hat? This is what I'm talking about. He likes me to put it on his head. <gasps> oh, you're so silly. He did this when he was like... When I he had just turned like one and he thought it was so funny and then he hadn't done it for several months and now he's back into Whoa. wearing it as a hat but he gets very frustrated when I can't balance it. Hey, do you want a vitamin? So Gray loves his gummy vitamins that I've been giving him. I can't remember if I told you guys about it. Um, I just got him these little critters. Are these even good? Like the best? I don't know, but um, it's kind of hard to open with one hand. But he likes it, and um, there's a ton of them. So I need to do more research, or let me know down below. Um, here, buddy. But he loves it. He loves those vitamins. He wants them all the time, even though he can only have one. But they have just all kinds of flavors. I don't know. They're called low critters. Do you have you guys heard of these? Are they good? I don't know, but he likes them, so I'll just stick with it till I run out, and then I'll reevaluate. You say hi. Hey guys, so we are outside enjoying the hot, hot weather. It is like 86 right now. It's so hot. It's sunny, although the sun's behind a cloud right now. But we have we have the towel laid out. We've got the slide. I put the slide in the pool. The pool is like bath water. I put water in it like this morning and then the sun's been heating it up all day. So it's really warm. And we have the water table. Gray's in his swimsuit. I was sunbathing. I had my top, just my swimsuit top on with my belly hanging out. Um, but 
Gray wanted to swing, so I had to put my shirt back on. But yeah, we've been having fun. I cut up some watermelon. So we've been eating watermelon. Gray loves watermelon. I love watermelon too. Anthony's not a big fan of it, so it's just Grayson and I that eat it. I usually get the big watermelons, but Gray and I just can't eat it all, so I got a mini one, and it's not as flavorful, but it's definitely like the right amount. We don't need any more than that. <laughs> It'll take us a while to go through all that for sure. But yeah, we've just been hanging out. It's a beautiful day. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great Memorial Day. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog anymore. Grayson's kind of all over the place. <laughs> But yeah, I think this is it for the video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!